Thanks for watching Inside IU Volleyball with Sherry Dunbar. I'm Cody Sherritt. As you can tell, we are in what Gus Johnson calls the Carnegie Hall of Basketball. Coach, growing up in Ellettsville, you came to a lot of games when you were younger. We had season tickets, so, um, but we sat in row 41, which I don't know if you can see the seats behind me, but um, it's pretty far up and <laughs> looks like ants coming down here, but just to be in the environment, um, this is, as Gus Johnson said, I mean, it, it's an amazing place when it's packed. Um, the students, largest student section in the country, and it's a sellout, whether we're good or bad, people are basketball fans in Indiana. What was it like coming here when Bob Knight was coaching, bringing all, bringing all three championships here? It was awesome. Every year they were good. Um, I still remember a lot of the players uh, growing up, Scotty May and Kent Benson, and you know, even Isaiah Thomas and, and all those guys, and uh, you know, high character people, and, and obviously winning championships. So it was a lot of fun growing up in that environment and seeing what college athletics was really about. And Assembly Hall is not only an arena for basketball, but also the volleyball team plays here. What was it like the first time you got a coach in here? Awesome. Like, that's all I can say. And I think it was great for Ashley, you know, to be able to play mm -hmm. on the same floor that her dad played on and won championships on. Um, and we played in here during Hoosier Hysteria. When we're home, we do that every year. And I think we played in front of 13,000 people at one point and one. And, and it was just great to, to have a lot of people that might not see volleyball see it before you know they played basketball that evening and I think that drew some crowds over at University Gym so we were happy to do that uh, for a lot of the community at Bloomington. In the off season, the team also does their conditioning here and I understand that you've actually done some of their workouts been, with well, them. Well we've been doing some staff stuff at Assembly Hall. It's pretty hard on your calves but it's a great <laughs> workout to go through Assembly Hall but we do a lot of conditioning in here during the winter. Um, and you know, it's, it's just great because there's nobody in here and it's, it's just that tradition in here at all times. Um, and I'm not saying the kids love going up and down <laughs> the stairs, but it is a neat place to train. And here's what some of the players had to say about training inside of Assembly Hall. It's kind of cool to get out of U-Gym and the football field to come into. I mean, it's a very famous um, place to play. So um, I think it's really fun for us to get in something different. You know, we don't really like running up the stairs, but um, it's better than the stadium, and it's fun to um, just do something different, you know, run longer sprints or do side sprints, and um, it just makes it a little more interesting. It is a great change, and um, it makes it easier to work hard almost because you know some of the greatest athletes in the country have played on this court. It makes it easier to, you know, get out here and sweat where they've sweated and that kind of thing. It just makes it a lot more fun and interesting. We did some shuffling stuff, blocking movement, um, jumping, um, so that'll help us transition that to the fall and as we keep getting better and keep working on it I think um, we're gonna have better verticals and we're gonna be quicker and I think um, Josh and Chris do a really good job of getting us prepared for um, the fall season. The biggest thing that it's gonna help us with is our explosiveness especially with the stuff we we're doing today with the tennis balls or big step out and things like that that only helps in every aspect of the game on the court and that kind of thing and transitioning over. Thanks guys. And Coach, you weren't here last week. Coach Nancy Mueller did a great job filling in for you, but you were actually out in California watching Ashley Benson train with the U.S. national team. Yeah, I went out there and, and recruited for a couple of days, and then she's out there with the winter training block uh, with Hugh McCutcheon and Karch Karai, and they're training uh, five days a week, really from about 9 to 1230. And so it was just neat to see her in that environment, see her apartment, you know, meet her teammates. <laughs> Uh, watch the way they're training and how she's progressing and, and how competitive she looks with everyone else. And, you know, she's doing a great job. I think she's learning a lot and transitioning and it's so competitive out there. And it's really forcing her to take the next step in her development. Um, and I think she's having a really good time. You know, it's such a different venture for her growing up in Bloomington, going to school here, really only going with us out of state or out of the country when we went to Europe. So this is really an independent venture for her to kind of grow up even more and, and really kind of spread her wings and, and focus on her career, which she wants to be volleyball. And you said the 2012 team is set in stone, mm -hmm. but what are Ashley's chances at 2016 in Brazil? Um, I think as good as anyone else. I think that's going to be determined by her. I think she's doing some really nice things, and I think the more international experience she gets, you know, training out there until April or May, um, and then coming back and finishing her education, which is our priority, and then helping us out during the fall and then going international again next spring. I think just keep those experiences coming, keep her playing at a high level. She has all the attributes. Mm -hmm. 
personality wise and as a player, I think to develop and keep getting better. So I think her chances are very good. We're very proud of her. I think she's representing Indiana in a great way and, and it was really fun to spend some time with her. And what's a player like Ashley mean to this program? She's obviously, she came in as a freshman year, first year. So what does that mean to you? Oh, you know, I mean, obviously I'm very proud of her for the player she became, but more so the person. Um, for her to get her education and to grow up and to represent something that she cared so much about, not just Indiana, but our program, about developing our program and doing it the right way. Um, you know, I love all our kids and, and she's no exception. And, and it's just nice to see her being able to do something that she truly loves right now. Thanks for Sherry Dunbar for joining me once again on Inside IU Volleyball. Tune in next week.